circuit solution using the loop current method. Given all these resistors, and given these voltage sources, determine the loop currents. This matrix equation looks like Ohm's law, but it's really Kirchhoff's voltage law. Let's examine Kirchhoff's voltage law for loop 1. Compare this Kirchhoff's voltage law equation to the top row. Each row is Kirchhoff's voltage law for that loop. Written as voltage drops equals voltage rises. This is Kirchhoff's voltage law matrix equation. R and V are known. I contains all three unknown loop currents. Therefore, the matrix solution is I equals R inverse times V.